Hey, Deb. Come on, we gotta head out of here. What do you mean, why? Deb, it's almost one o'clock. Steeler game's about to start. Oh, what do you mean we're watching a game here? I ain't watching the game at Prexter's house. Look at it. It's all mid-century modern. It's like they live with the Incredibles or something. You're supposed to watch football in a basement, not James Bond's house. I need wood paneled walls, and old beer signs, and, and a water-stained drop ceiling, and a couple missing ceiling tiles after I punched them out from bad calls. Musty, Deb. It's gotta smell musty. Can't watch football smelling like Waikiki Beach Coconut. Now, if this was Ligonier Beach Coconut, we could talk. But I gotta tell you, if you find a coconut up Ligonier, don't smell it. And what about lunch? What the hell are we gonna do for lunch? That charcuterie board over there. A couple wispy slices of salami and some weird cheese no one wants. Nah, I need a hoagie. And they don't even got no beer. How am I gonna watch the Steelers Brides game drinking a lavender vodka spritz? The only spritz I want is a Minka Spritz Patrick. Son of a bitch, that's good. I don't tell him. Oh, that's that's delicious. But I don't make it right. And I and I guess we could just forget about the DVE broadcast, because he's got Sinatra records playing. I don't want to hear the rat pack, Deb. I want to hear that the rat birds are losing their game. I'll, I'll tell you exactly how I'm gonna fix this. Oh yeah, Deb, I'm getting them. But it's too late, I'm already on my way. <laughs> All right, here we go. Yeah, these are these these are genuine three-year stadium seats. Always got them in the car. Oh, I, I've had these for years. No, I did not get them after they tore the stadium down. I got them after that 1995 AFC Championship game versus the Chargers when we lost. Ripped them right out of there. Got them the whole way home, riding a T. How do I remove the bolts? <laughs> three words. Drunk, Vo, Tecker. You'd be surprised what you can accomplish after dying on an 18-pack. Speaking of which, hey, beer here. Oh yeah, that guy coming to seats. Yeah, I know they stink. Don't even bother lighting that peach Bellini candle, because that's no match for the smell of Marlboro Reds. That's 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 baked in here real good. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll meet you halfway. Here we go, Steelers. This week's episode of Pittsburgh Dad is brought to you by the law firm of Bordis and Bordis.